the All Progressives Congress, APC, Youth Renaissance Group has reacted to Peter Okoye of Peace Square's perceived insult on the federal government of Nigeria. The brothers via their Instagram pages had questioned the federal government's purported move to ban production of music videos abroad. They said the federal government was trying to control what it never supported, adding that one day, a law would surface that will monitor how they sleep with their wives. Reacting in a statement signed by the APC Youth's National Secretary, Collins Edwin, the group described Peter Okoye as a son of darkness according to APC, we read the scurrilous remarks credited to Mr. Peter Okoye of the PSQUARE group against the federal government's job-saving policy in the entertainment industry with great anger and vexation, least of all persons to make scathing remark against the government is the PSQUARE group which the local content policy of the federal government dusted up from the valley of obscurity. Where was Peter Okoye or PSQUARE brand in 1999 when foreign music dominated our airwaves? If not for the government policy which mandated all broadcast stations in Nigeria to pay attention to Nigerian music by playing 95% of Nigerian songs every day, would Peter Okoye or PSQUARE be known to anybody in Nigeria today? Or would they have competed with better American music which dominated our airwaves then? After the government have used its policy to brush them up from nothing to something, instead of giving opportunity to other people, they are taking Nigerian jobs to foreign countries through the shooting of music videos abroad, now that government have intervened to raise great and better entertainers again, Peter Okoye has the gut to insult the entire federal government by calling our great leaders NDI Alabama which means mad and stupid.